Hey, what's up, Street Talks? This is Eric Kim from the Eric Kim Street Photography Blog. So, first of all, I wanted to make a quick video, just kind of react uh, as a reaction to all those interesting comments and discussion that I got in my last video of me shooting street, uh, street photography with a flash in Hollywood. So, first of all, I guess I wanted to kind of start off kind of reiterating exactly why I created the blog. I mean, the blog hasn't been around for too long. It's been around for about a year. Um, my personal story about the blog is that I first started with street photography and I was really terrified about going up to strangers and taking their photos like I was a huge scaredy cat and you know I did a lot of searching around the internet I couldn't really find any people who really blogged or told stories or even showed a video of them approaching strangers really really closely and taking their photos you know without their permission I was always curious how they did it and having done street photography for several years now uh, several years now I felt like you know I had a lot of things I learned a lot of experiences what I did you know, was different from what other people expected would come out. And, you know, I, I just really wanted to create, um, you know, a community in which, you know, people could share ideas, you know, you know, debate, and not only just have one right or wrong answer, not to say that, oh, yeah, this is only the way to shoot, or this is, you know, the better way to shoot. So I really wanted to just kind of let you guys know that. And, you know, a lot of people left interesting comments. Uh, I didn't censor any comments. You know, I really appreciate the, the input that everyone's giving. And I, like I said, I want to really keep it open for a community, a forum, for a debate, controversy, whatever it may be. So kind of going back to the video that I shot of me doing street photography with a flash. So first of all, people are saying that, hey, you know, you're a copycat. That's not you. Uh, I don't appreciate your style. And I mean, first of all, it's not my style. I'm, I'm still experimenting. I'm trying out new things. Uh, I think it's it's a wonderful thing to try out different styles and see what kind of interests you. And I haven't been shooting shoot photography with a flash for very long either. Maybe a month or two tops. Uh, originally, I first got inspiration from Bruce Guild, and I saw that one street photography video of him on YouTube. I'm like, man, this guy. You know, not only does he have a lot of you know character, he's got a lot of you know spunk, but he's also got a lot of courage, and he makes very good photos. And I was just really inspired by his images. And also I had the huge pleasure of actually meeting up in uh, Paris. And, you know, the guy's very honest, very down-to-earth, very nice guy, very, very courteous. And, you know, sometimes I think people get the wrong impression of him. And not only that, but, you know, after seeing Bruce Gilden's work, I was introduced um, and somehow met Charlie Kirk, who has been a pivotal influence in me and my street photography, you know, really focusing and telling me to really go go the extra yard and not just be complacent with my work and really even try to make the blog a much more better place for high quality, you know, tree photographers, tips and stuff like that. And I was introduced to by him to like Dirty Harry, um, you know, Mark Cohen, and there's a lot of other street photographers out there that are using the street photography with a flash that make really fascinating images. And I, I don't want to say that I made a, a good photo yet. I mean, I really, like I said, still experimenting. And even in the video, the photos I took were not really great photos. I mean, it was just three three minutes of footage. I could shoot for five hours an entire day, and if I'm lucky, I'll get one or two decent shots. So I feel like when people are saying, "Oh, you know, your photos just suck," I mean, I, I feel like that's not really um, uh, kind of a constructive thing to say because those aren't my keepers. I just put those in there just to illustrate an example of you know how people's reactions are when shooting shoot photography, and. Even when I first started, you know, when I saw the video and had the idea of shooting street photography with a flash, I was absolutely terrified. I, I would have no idea how people would react. I mean, I was, I was really scared to do it, honestly. And I'm just like, you know what, I'm just going to go out and do it and see how people's reactions are. And I was really surprised to see that, you know, people are saying, oh, you know, if you do that in the streets, people are going to punch you in the face. They're going to, you know, kick your ass. I haven't gotten punched in the face or my ass kicked yet. Uh, the worst thing that's happened to me though is when I was in Santa Monica, I flashed a guy who looked a little sketchy, like a like a punk rock or something, and he just kind of shoved me from behind. But other than that, I mean, I haven't had any real big issues. And you know, when I started shooting more, I started getting more you know comfortable with the style. And when I'm shooting the images, I I really love the outcome. I feel like you know adding the flash really adds so much more depth. You could it really lights up the character. And I'm not flashing people just for the sake of flashing them and scaring them. It's, it just makes a more interesting image because oftentimes when you have like backlighting or you're in the shadows, you don't really have a good light source. And, you know, I'm not always able to shoot during the, the, the golden hour or ideal times. And not only that, but using a, a widening lens, getting really close to people and ask, not asking for permission. I feel like the images create more of that uh, 
a participant rather than a voyeur. You know, I'm not standing two blocks away with a 7200 lens just sniping people. But, you know, I'm getting close to people. I, you know, oftentimes after I shoot people, I just, you know, say a few lines. Sometimes I even sit down and talk to people. But, you know, this is just kind of like something that's been really interesting to me. And, you know, uh, I've been enjoying it so far. And, you know, I'm still trying to find my own style. I really don't know what my style is. But hopefully when I start shooting more, I'll be able to understand a little better. So just kind of as a conclusion, thanks again so much for the comment critiques, guys. I really appreciate your support and love and helping me, you know, develop myself as a street photographer. I mean, I don't claim to know all the answers. I just try to be open, honest with my knowledge, things I learn, things that I don't. Shooting people with a flash really close to people, I'm not telling everyone to do that. I mean... I, even there's times I feel uncomfortable doing it, but I think that's for me personally, it's helped me develop as a, not only just a street photographer, but as a person, um, getting closer to people, interacting with them, getting over my fear of shooting them. And I'm still trying to find my own style. I'm not Bruce Gilden. I don't think anyone out there has made a photo like Bruce Gilden. I mean, that's him. But, you know, I really look up to his work and the work of all those other people out there. And the last thing is that I didn't create this video just as a controversy just to piss people off. I mean, I've heard people shooting street photography with the flash, and aside from that video with Bruce Gilden, I really haven't seen much. I mean, Thomas Loitard put up an interesting video of him doing street photography with flash in Istanbul, which was really fascinating. Um, you guys should check that out as well. But I just thought that, you know, you guys would appreciate watching the video and kind of see how people react. I mean, when I'm watching the video, I think most people didn't really react negatively, except a couple of people gave me some weird looks. I mean, a lot of people said things. A lot of people smiled back at me. And you know that guy who asked me to delete his photo? I deleted his photo. So yeah, thanks again so much. Uh, please continue to leave your thoughts, comments, concerns. Write a comment below. I'll try to respond to everyone's comments as much as I can, but things are a bit hectic now. But yeah, keep it up. Thanks, guys. Peace.